Hello everybody, my name is Ryan and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, thank you so much for joining us today. Today we are watching season two, episode three of Heartstopper. This episode is called Promise. So I don't quite know what we are promising here. That has me a little bit nervous, but I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. The last episode ended with Tao running into the store to tell Isaac and Charlie that he likes Elle, which we so needed. He made it very clear that he knew it was probably a bad idea to tell her because of how close they are, and he didn't want to ruin anything. He needs to tell her though, like let's be real. We do not need to be keeping this secret. Elle also went to an open house day for the art school she's trying to get into, and met Felix and Naomi, who are also trying to get into that art school, and quickly became quite close with them, I think. She's going out to like an under 18 club with them, all that kind of jazz, and blowing Tao off a little bit after the awkwardness of the first episode where they almost kissed. That made me very emotional, hearing her be like, sorry, I'm just really busy, I don't think I have time to hang out with you. I was not alright with that. And also, Nick and Charlie were at uh, Nick's house, and Nick's brother walked in, said some not nice things, wasn't very cool, didn't like him at all, and Charlie's now grounded because he kind of, like, went to Nick's without permission and without his family knowing. Also not very cool. I'm kind of scared for where this goes things are looking down and it's only episode two now going into three out of eight so we have time for things to pick up so i'm thinking that we're gonna stay downhill for a little bit maybe maybe as always the full episode reaction for this episode and all of the other episodes will be up on my patreon the link for that's down below if you'd like to check it out and without any further ado, let's just jump right into season two, episode three of Heartstopper. Let's go. Ooh, what if you go to a bookshop and like choose a book for each other and have a cute little reading day? Isaac. <gasps> Isaac, take me on a date. That sounds great. If this date doesn't work out, then I lose my best friend in the whole world. Did you even ask her out on the date yet? A little hey. leaf. Oh. I'm weak. Did you hear we're having an end of GCC party in the woods next week? Yeah, it's gonna be wild. And you guys should come. I seriously don't blame you for fighting him. I know you and Charlie are really good mates. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we are, actually. Thank you so much. But guys, was he thinking about telling them? It kind of felt like it, right? Like, it's oh. fine, there's no deadline. I know, but it's just annoying when people think we're, like... Best bros. <laughs> <laughs> didn't count. Or the English room. You kiss me first. Oh, what about the... Fine. You win. <laughs> Boys, I need... I'm stuck. Oh, la la. Well, that's, I mean, like, fine, but awkward as hell. She's like, I'm so sorry that I walked in on you making out with him. Oh, that's so embarrassing. I guess so. If any of the lads say anything out of line, you tell me immediately, all right? Yeah. Yeah, I will. When I was at uni, things were pretty bad. That was in women's rugby. Lots of lesbians in women's rugby. That's how I met my wife. Aww. I remember what it was like telling all my friends. None of the guys know about me, so um. Well, you don't owe them that information, okay? Aww. Hell yeah. We love we love a supportive teacher. We really do. Nick needed that, to be fair. And uh Maybe keep the kissing outside of team practice. Hmm. <laughs> I don't want to do this anymore. 
It's your last exam. Yeah. You're nearly done. No. And then it's basically the Paris trip. We get to spend every day together for the whole day. Okay. I should probably be doing some last minute revision right now. But this <laughs> is more fun. Oh, have you read this one? Of course I've read that one. It's from Isaac. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is Isaac. Come on now. Isaac's read everything. Are you a magician? <laughs> Is he gonna get like a crazy different haircut? Like not a crazy haircut, but like very different from what he has. Come on, Charlie. And with five minutes to spare. Your exam is finished. Please put down your pens. Feel good about that, Nikki boy? I hope so. Ugh. Harry, get out, you idiot. You're gonna be so annoyed with me after that. <laughs> Aww. I love you because of how annoying you are. Oh. I mean, uh, I didn't mean that in an I love you way. That, that was just a casual I love you. Oh. Oh, this is awkward. I kind of thought she was getting upset because she called her annoying. How she said, I love that you're annoying. I don't know that I would like that. <laughs> I'm so excited to see them take Paris. So excited. What books is Isaac gonna read? What is he reading right now? Oh, it's called Book Lovers. <gasps> Book Lovers. That's like the only Emily Henry other than the new one that I haven't read. Nathan, are you also having regrets about signing up for this? It'll be a laugh, won't it? Why is this man the, uh... Oh, wait a minute. Are they... Are... Last time. Did I feel that? Did I... Hey, Isaac. Are you feeling it? Oh, Aww. hi, James. Um, uh, James? I, I was just thinking... Did you want to come to the end of exams party tonight? <gasps> oh, um... Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Isaac! Oh! I could come out at the party to some of the rugby guys, so if it goes badly, we could just leave. So, Ugh, we'll now ask ben. you to get into groups of four. Guys, I will be the ben. people you share hotel rooms with. And we've been told to inform you that boys and girls cannot share rooms. Oh, that's okay. Boys and boys oh, can. Oh, <laughs> no. yeah, we know. Aw, where is Tao? Yeah. Oh, poor Imogen Price. Oh, what the hell? <gasps> Look Hi. at Isaac in the background. Oh, these. Look at Tao. You Hot damn. Finishing your GCSEs. What's happening right now? <laughs> oh, he I looks like you so cute. Romantically. Oh. And I was wondering if you wanted to go on a date. I guess I was sort of hoping. <laughs> I've been sort of wondering if. He's so Might cute. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, he's so cute. Oh my god, she's gonna say no. Is she gonna say no? Yeah. Oh, thank god. Oh my god. He's so cute. So, tonight, look, look at I thought face. maybe we could go to the cinema. He's so cute. Yeah. He looks like a smooth criminal. Yeah, oh crap. This glasses are doing something. Something they're doing. Oh. Hey. Has he been there for like ever? <laughs> so, this is really a date. <laughs> yeah. They're so cute. I cannot handle it right now. So that's two tickets for Moonrise Kingdom at 7.15. Or not. That's my favorite movie. I know. But you hate that movie. Yeah, but I want to make this your dream date. Thanks. Oh, 
No snacks? We're not getting popcorn on this date? This definitely isn't legal, is it? Nope. Don't see oh, the Tori is there? Let me go find Did you want a drink? Not alcohol. Uh, I mean, there is alcohol if you want it, but... Oh, look at his smile. Too. Isaac is loving yeah, sure. it. Come He's on, so then. cute. Come on, Isaac. <laughs> look after him or you die. Yeah. Tori. Yeah, Nick. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bye, Tori. Bye. <laughs> Bye, sister. Fine. Look at so, them. I love their style. Yeah. Like, it's so can, great. If you want. Charlie's style is very much me. <laughs> Oh, holy crap. Okay, I said snacks. That's as big as them. <laughs> okay. Is, there's no cup holder at this cinema? Is there no cup holders at cinemas in the UK? You look really nice, by the way. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I'm so Where unwell. Did you your hair? Well, it just looks better like this, doesn't it? <laughs> but you always liked it long. I hope you didn't cut it for me. <laughs> oh my god. My heart is actually, it's, it's hurting. It hurts. I'm, it's painful. Just ask me for a lift next time. My mom can pick you oh, up, it's not really coming. not a problem. Okay. Yeah. Text you later. Oh, she's not coming. Okay, you win. You win. You win. <laughs> They're so cute. That's all I keep saying on a loop, but like, what else can you say? <laughs> Guys, are they gonna be like, this is weird? Are they gonna, like, like maybe we actually actually don't like each other. <laughs> oh, he's shaking! Oh my god! Come on, Al! Like make a make a move halfway. This man showed up in front of all of his friends with flowers and a whole new look, and told them all that he liked you. What's happening here? What's happening? You really shouldn't have picked that movie. It's not my fave. But you love it, so... He's trying to do everything that she... If we're going on a date, we should do something we both enjoy. Yeah. She didn't have fun, buddy. I didn't know you invited them. Yeah? They're my friends. I don't understand what I did wrong tonight. It's like you were trying to be a completely different person. You're the one who's completely different. You've gone off with your new friends and have forgotten I exist completely. You're the one who said we'd always put our friendship first. How'd it go? Bad. Maybe he was just nervous. I'm fundamentally unlikable. Don't say that, Tao. He was probably just trying to impress you. I liked the old Tao. I tried too hard, and I talked too much. I ruined everything. Tao, please don't say that. I've liked him for so long, and it just hurts. But you also didn't try at all. Like, either. He just felt uncomfortable the whole time. Like, you could have held his hand, flipped your hand over and held his hand in the movie theater. Am I, am I wrong for that? I don't think I am. He came out on like, yeah, okay, maybe it wasn't the best date idea, but he was trying to do what you liked. Yeah, he cut his hair, but bold of you to assume it was just for you. But then on top of that, like, you made him feel so weird the whole time. And it felt very judgmental. You could have a conversation, he is your best friend. Hi. Sorry. Where's Charlie? Uh oh. Lost him. Sorry. You said you'd look after him. Not very good at keeping your promises, <gasps> are you? Uh. 
Okay. You don't look well. Oh, oh God. You were gonna come, I should put that. Oh, Nick. Nick doesn't want to talk to you, Harry. Piss yes, off. Charlie! <laughs> yes, Charlie! Yes, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Charlie? 10 out of 10. Do you mind if I stay for a bit? Just to make sure he's okay. Of course, darling. Not past your curfew, though. I don't want to get you in trouble with your parents. Uh, uh, he already is. Nick, so lucky to have you, Charlie. Oh, Olivia. Come on now. He's so cute, guys. Oh my god. You told Harry to piss off. <laughs> I enjoyed that. I did too. <laughs> yeah, I think we all did. I'd fight them. <laughs> You'd fight. I'd find you always mean to you. Oh my god. You have to tell all your friends and family immediately. Like you owe it to them. But you don't. Let's just stay low key in Paris and then it'll be the summer holidays. Oh no. So now we're gonna have to hide in Paris? You sure you're okay with it? Obviously, I want you to come out when and how you want to. And if that takes a long time, that's completely okay. Charlie! He's the best. I guess part of me just wants everyone to know you're my boyfriend. Guys, why is this show so freaking cute all the time? About everything. It's just. I don't. Am I out of line here with the whole L Tao thing? I don't think what I'm saying is like a crazy thing to say. Like, he did all this research, he planned a date that she thought he thought she would like. Maybe she didn't, that was fine. But he didn't do anything like rude or mean to her. He maybe just discovered his feelings slightly after she came to terms with her own feelings. So I don't think it's fair to be angry at him for that. And then, like, the way she acted, like, they were on a date and I think it was fine for her to invite her friends. I think that was okay and it was a little out of line for him to be upset But I about that. But I do think he was upset because of how the date went and then on top of it, she invited the people who she's been blowing him off for when they had plans to do stuff and everything like that together. Like the art and stuff like that. But I do feel like she also didn't try even a little bit at all. Like, he put himself out there with the flowers and standing in front of everybody asking her out and saying that he liked her in front of everybody. She said yes. Fine. Fine. But then she literally was just like, thanks for asking me out. And then like, didn't do anything. Like, you don't have to kiss me. You don't have to do anything like that. But you like him, supposedly. A haircut shouldn't change that. An outfit shouldn't change that. Him being interested in you shouldn't change that. For him to like, try and hold, like, put his hand over your hand. Why would you not just flip your hand over and hold his hand? Like, He's doing so much and you're giving nothing. Absolutely nothing. And then he like pulled his hand away and was like shaking. And I think it's so valid for him to be upset about that because it's like, okay, maybe he read the room wrong. He didn't plan the date that you wanted or maybe even the best date that he could have planned. But he tried and you could be like, how about we plan the next date together? If you like him, right, it's not hard. Ladies, ladies and gents, it's not hard. You like somebody, they like you, they're trying, it's a vibe. You both have weird feelings about the date being maybe not the best choice. Work together and come up with, with one together. Like, that's what I would have done. I would have been like, 
how about we plan another date and we talk about what we want to do? I think that'll be great. Why can't you do that? Communicate. Communicate. And then Nick also is going through it. I think it's totally reasonable for him to not feel ready. I think he may be on the way to telling those guys. But Harry kept showing up. Ain't nobody spilling beans when Harry's around. I'll tell you that. I will tell you that. Harry being around, instantly not a good time. Not a good time immediately. Harry's the worst. Harry needs to, like, take a hike or something. I don't know what Harry needs to do, but Harry needs to figure it out. Not cool with Harry there. Um, Tori's making me upset. She just loves her brother so much and is like, watch out for him, would you? But I also feel like her being, like, not good at keeping your promises wasn't really a fair thing to say to Nick either at that point. So there's that. Tara and Darcy are going through it because Tara said, I love you. And I was like, I don't expect you to say it. I thought she was offended at first for the like, oh, but I love you because you're so annoying. If somebody's like, oh, I love you because you're so annoying, even if we hadn't said I love you, I wouldn't take that as I love you. I'd be like, you're calling me annoying. <laughs> feel about that I'd be like you just called me annoying you just agreed like I was not uncomfortable about the I love you because I didn't feel like oh I love you right I sound insane <laughs> it's the tone with which the statement was said am I missing anything Imogen, I don't know who she's going to be sharing a room with. Isaac and James? Was that his name? Did I just make that up? James? Is Isaac getting love, guys? Is he finding love? This guy seems, like, really into him. And they seem to have common interests. He was helping set up the book table. And he was like, have you read this one? Isaac's like, of course. Isaac's read the library. Isaac's read all the bookstores. I'm surprised they're publishing books fast enough. For Isaac to always have a book to read, you know? Isaac slays. Isaac is like who I wish to be. Can't, can't help it. Can't help it. Oh, it was so good. But it's painful at the same time. As always, the full episode reaction for this episode and all of the other episodes will be up on my Patreon. The link for that is down below if you'd like to check it out. And I will see you guys back here with me for the next episode of Heartstopper. Bye, guys.